Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And last week when I was away in Singapore, I realized that I hit 10,000 subscribers and I honestly cannot believe it. Like, it is a dream come true for me and I can't believe that I have so many of you guys following me on this incredible journey. I love sharing my life with you. I love vlogging. I love talking about all things medicine, health, beauty, lifestyle, travel. And I'm so blessed that I have you guys to join me. I feel really, really lucky. So thank you guys so, so, so much. So I really wanted to film this Q&A um, to answer some of you guys' questions because obviously our little YouTube fam is growing and you guys, some of you will be brand new here, some of you will have been around for ages and some of you will know things and you won't, so you all have questions that you want me to answer. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, my Instagram is Persian Bunny, I'll have it linked in the description. I asked you guys to ask me your, your questions, so um, yeah, that was, that was quite a lot. So that was like an overwhelming amount of questions and um, yeah like each picture has like four questions in it and that was quite a lot and I after a while I just stopped screenshotting because I won't be able to answer that many questions so I'm going to try and answer as many as I can um, I haven't really looked through it but from the ones that I've seen while screenshotting a lot of you guys have like similar questions so I'm just gonna jump right in so my first question is have you got a boyfriend no I'm currently single um and this video is filmed on the 2nd of Jan, 2019. So, you know, this is factual to date. So yeah. Next question, oh, this is funny because this is back to back from different people. What type of guys are you into? Um, I don't really have like a physical type. For me, like the way someone looks is honestly like the least important thing for me. And all my friends and my sisters always say that like, looks is like probably at the bottom of my list. Um, but for me the things that do matter is someone has to be really family oriented because if you guys watch any of my vlogs you'll see that I'm really really close with my family I spend a lot of time with them so I would love someone to get along with my family and for me to get along with theirs and we can just gel and be a huge family together that's like a dream and also I think that like personality like really loving caring romantic um, yeah, that, those sort of things like really stand out for me more than, you know, someone's appearance. So yeah, those are the, the most important things. So um, family oriented, loving, caring, kind, and yeah, I think there's a, there's a longer list, but those are like the priorities. Next question, which phone do you have? I just upgraded, this is the iPhone XS Max and I love it. The camera looks like a professional photographer's camera. I used it the whole time I was on holiday in Singapore and I absolutely loved it. Next question, gosh, so many questions about boyfriends. Um, when do you qualify as a doctor? I qualify as a doctor in t summer 2020. So, um, that is when I'll be graduating. I'm currently in my fourth year, and um, yeah, I'll be starting fifth year this year. Fifth and final. Next question. I actually get this question all the time, and I've never answered it before, and it is, what religion are you? And the truth is, I'm not gonna be answering that in this video either, and I'm not sure I will ever answer that question, simply because without even answering the question, I've had so much hate from people um, based on everything that I do. Like they'll be like, if you're like a Muslim, why are you dressed like this? If you're a Christian, why are you participating in this? If you're Jewish, why are you doing this? Like literally, I get judged so much on people's predictions of what my religion should be and what I, how I should be acting. But I will say this, I'm definitely much more spiritual than I am religious. I believe so much in energy and what you put out, the law of attraction will come back to you, karma and just trying to be like the most, you know, best version of yourself and connecting with God. I do believe in God. Um, but yeah, I'm so much more spiritual than I am religious. But the reason why I don't ex like the reason why I don't say what my religion is is simply because I have received so much hate. Um, in the comments 
about what I should be doing if I was a particular religion that I don't really want to say. Next question, Irani baladi bala man farsi kamalan baladam. Man as man hame omram inja zendegi kardam, vali as sen se salagi ta sen shun zah salagi marse Irani miraftam. Sorry, my voice is really husky, by the way, guys. I've just got back from holidays and I feel like I've caught a bit of a cold. Um, nothing serious, but just, you know, standard cold stuff. Next question. What part of Iran are you from? So, I was born and raised in England, but um, my mum is from a city called Mashhad, and she did a little vlog on that called the Mashhad Vlog on my channel. Um, I love that city. It's beautiful. My dad is from a city in the north of Iran called Arak, A-R-A-K. Um, but he worked most of his, he went to uni in Tehran and has a lot of friends and family in Tehran and worked in Mashhad and for him home is Mashhad. Next question. Will you quit uni if your channel and clothing line gets big enough or too much to manage? Um, no I won't quit uni just because I'm in my fourth year. I am very passionate about my subject and I love doing medicine and for me all these other things are kind of a hobby around medicine um, and I know some people ask me like how do you do everything and it's because I think it's possible to be passionate about more than one thing um, but I won't ever do something to jeopardize the medicine so for me medicine is, is a priority um, and everything else I do is just extra after I graduate then yeah that's like a whole nother ballpark of what you can do with your life because you can do anything with a medical degree but yeah I definitely want to finish degree in my degree I love it I love studying medicine next question if you could collab with one other youtuber who would it be so I've already done a collab with a youtuber who I absolutely love and she's gonna be doing a collab on my channel as well and that's Laylee Mirza from Pint Size Flash TV and um, I'll link that down below of the video I filmed with her me and her are gonna film a video as well which I'm really excited about um, but I guess, do I have to pick someone else? I think we're just gonna stick to Laylee because I think it's awesome to be able to collab with someone who I've watched for, for years. What made you start a YouTube channel? Um, it was something that I always wanted to do but never had the guts to do. And I feel like when I started doing more fashion blogging on Instagram, I kind of got the confidence to then start a YouTube channel and just wanted to kind of I didn't know what I wanted to do with it at first. I don't know if everyone knows what they want to do at first with their YouTube channel when they first start out, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. My first video was a makeup video and I didn't even really want to do makeup. It wasn't something that I'm passionate about. It was just something that I got asked about a lot. Like so many of my friends and people around me always ask me how I did my makeup or how I grow my hair so long. So those are topics that I just talk about. But now I'm really into vlogging. Like I just love sharing my life with you guys and hearing back from you guys talking about it you guys teaching me new things like i love being able to talk to you all over the world like that is the coolest thing ever are you going to stay in england or do you have some other plans for the future well currently i i plan on staying in england um i've never lived anywhere else in my life and i absolutely love it here i feel like london has so much to offer and it's such an incredible city to live in if you've never visited london i really recommend it it's an amazing city and yeah, I just, I love it. But I don't know where life will take me. I don't know, maybe in terms of jobs, you could always end up somewhere else in terms of like your partner, I guess, is the next most common thing to make you end up somewhere else. And thirdly, if you get fed up, you'd end up somewhere else. So I don't know if how I feel about any of these things in the future. Um, but for now, I can't imagine myself living anywhere else. Who's your celebrity crush? Okay, so my celebrity crush from when I was, in year nine was Justin Bieber but he got married and I kind of have morals and I feel rude having a crush on someone who's married so now my crush has shifted to Be Young um, if any of you guys don't know who Be Young is he is a um, like UK urban artist and I really love his music and I think he's really cute so he's my celebrity crush. Someone said, how old are you? I'm 22, my birthday is in March um, my birthday is on the 15th of March, so I will be, I'm a Pisces and I'll be turning 23. Someone said, how tall are you and how much do you weigh? Um, so I'm five foot two and I never share my weight simply because even from when I've been my skinniest to my heaviest or whatever, um, I don't want anyone to fixate on my weight. When I was younger, I used to read articles about people that I admired and I would see their weight and I used to think that I have to be their weight 
and I don't ever want anyone to feel that about me. I feel like you're perfect as you are. If you want to tone up or you want some fitness goals or anything like that, my goals are now more related to my fitness and my level of fitness rather than like my weight. I remember I had a weight goal and I even reached that weight goal and I didn't like how I looked. I felt like I looked too skinny and um, that's the weight I was kind of at when I filmed my how I lost 12 kilograms video. Uh, now I feel like when trying to gain some weight back I end up overshooting it now I've lost my like toned and I feel like a bit right now. So I'm gonna go back to my fitness goals but yeah, I don't ever share my weight because I don't want anyone to fixate on it because I don't think there's a perfect weight. I think there's there's more like a, a body type or a figure that's perfect for you. Like I've seen pictures of me at like a point where I'm like, yep, yeah, that's my fittest. 2019 goals. So I actually wrote this down on um, this morning and I probably will film this in a separate video and upload it hopefully this week. Um, but yeah, I'll let you in on like a couple of them. Um, my goals are more oriented on trying to be more efficient and working harder in all aspects of my life and in all of the uh, things I do. So like medicine, gym, YouTube, Instagram, etc. and how to excel in those. And I feel like I'm doing everything I want to do. There's nothing on my goal list like that I feel like, oh, it's something that I want to start, but I haven't started. I've started everything that I want to start. Um, but it's just about perfecting how I'm doing it. Oh, my dad just made me chai. Thanks, dad. And the mug. Oh, it's so hot. My hand burnt. The mug matches my jumper. This will hopefully fix my um, weird throat. Someone said, how's life? Life is good. Life is really, really good. I always say life is always good. So long as you have your health and you have your family, there's nothing you can complain about. Um, whenever I love someone and I want to wish them like a happy birthday or a happy new year or something like that, I always wish them health, wealth, happiness and love. And when I say wealth, I don't even mean like financial wealth, I mean like wealth in your heart. You know, you feel like you are the wealthiest person because you've got everything and everyone you love around you. And so, um, life is very good. Thank you. Someone said, how do you strive to be positive? I read a lot of um, books related to positivity and whenever I feel like I'm going off track, I will reread those books. My favorite books are The Alchemist, The Secret and The Power of Positive Thinking. I also have an app on my phone called um, Grateful. These three apps, um, The Secret app and The Grateful app um, are for me like the most important apps on my phone in terms of keeping me positive so the grateful app every day you go and you write a list of things that you're grateful for i used to write it every day but now i find myself writing it less frequently so i definitely want to write in it more often but you basically just make a list of everything you feel grateful for and it could be absolutely anything like i'll there'll be days where i'm literally just grateful that i got a coffee in the morning and i'll write that and the daily teachings by the secret app is basically quotes so today's quote says uh, we are not able to see the bigger picture of our lives, but the universe or the creative power can see it all. Sometimes we think that something is right for us, but when it doesn't unfold the way we thought, we must have faith in the universe that it is matching up all of our inner desires and marrying them into every aspect of our lives. Like, that just spoke to me, you know? So I always love, like, uplifting quotes and um, positive quotes, so yeah. I also follow a page called Law of Attraction on Instagram. So yeah, those really help in keeping me positive. Sorry, my camera um, memory card got filled up, um, which shows me that this video is definitely too long. So I am definitely gonna end with one more question. Let's try and make it a fun one. Ooh, this is a lovely final question. Would you take out one of your subscribers to hang out and make a vlog? Love you lots. Love you too. Um, I definitely would love to hang out with my subscribers. I absolutely love each and every single one of you and I'm not just saying that. I actually talk to my subscribers, whoever reaches out to me, like a lot of you DM me on Instagram and we literally talk about anything from fashion to boys to dads and like how to break things to your parents and I literally give so much life advice that it makes me like sometimes laugh because I'm like, 
you know, how are you doing this? Like, what made you the pro steps? But yeah, I love reaching out and connecting with you guys, even in the comments in the YouTube comment section. I absolutely love talking to you guys. So yeah, I would totally love to hang out with you guys. And um, I love talking to all of you. And I hope that you guys love talking to me too. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and getting to know me a bit more. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, to join the growing YouTube fam and also to see more of my vlogs and any other fun videos that you guys want to see. Also, my socials are linked in the description. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Twitter is The Persian Bunny, and my Snapchat is Sappy Samai. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful. See you next time. Bye.